Hi, Chad Melville here with Adam Echigoyen. Echigoyen. Uh, our sales, our director of sales and uh, hospitality here at Melville. We're going to go through the 2010 Terraces Small Lot Collection Pinot Noir a library release. Um, talk a little bit about the vintage, about the style and how the wine's been aging. Um, and then we're going to go into the current 2020 Terraces. Um, so the 10 is, uh, you know, holding up really, really well. It's got beautiful, um, evolved aromatics, like kind of secondary tertiary aromas, a dried fruit, dried sage, like that, that kind of style that we've been known for balancing out fruity, savory. Um, what do you think about their lives? I think you take that, uh, like the 2020, you have uh, fresh florals, and now they're starting to dry and turn into that potpourri and it's fun to watch it evolve. The cool part is the acidity is, it held up so, so stunningly. Um, so it's aging extremely well. Yeah, for 12 years old, you know, with 60% whole cluster, um, neutral wood, uh, it's still alive, it's still fresh. I think that part of it is the uh, really cold climate that 2010 presented, like extremely cold. Um, so that you got that really bright, fresh acidity still as the backbone of the wine. The whole cluster, 60%, you know, adds a lot of tannin, a lot of grippy phenolics up front. Um, and it's fun to watch that evolve over the past 12 years and kind of turn into like velvety, viscosity, like smooth tannin. The wine is hitting its stride right now at 12 years old. People ask all the time, like how well, you know, how well do these wines age? Well, here's a great example of something that's been stored perfectly here at the winery, the right temperature, humidity, um, and the wine is just singing. It's got at least another 12 years um, to go, probably more. Um, and that's what's fun about the evolution of aging wine. We have a um, 2020 to open up to that um, is current release, uh, made exactly the same way as we did in 2010. So 60% whole cluster, neutral wood, really fresh, right? As you would expect. I mean, this wine was just bottled um, seven months ago, um, released about five months ago. That bright red crunchy fruit. This is the wine that I fell in love with. Uh, I, I just, this is my baby right here. Uh, if you work with me, you know the terraces is the one. I love that briny, salty ocean air uh, mixed with the floral. There's a zippiness. This wine's built for food. Um, this wine is firing on all cylinders. Uh, I love that freshness. It also has this really elegant side to it, like aromatically, but then there's some power, there's some strength there too. There's still some structure on the, pal the palate. It says, give me food, um, give me age, whatever you want to give me, I'm, I'm ready. I notice these vines get really beat up by the wind. Yeah, it's a uh, it's, uh, terraced hillside, faces due west, pounded by the cold Pacific Ocean wind. Um, it's clay soil, canopy, you know, very devigorized, small cluster, small berry, really intense fruit. That's the whole idea here. Um, so we got the 2010 library release, um, and then we've got the 2020 current release. Cheers. Cheers.